I got my wife getting ready to make some uh, Chinese dumplings. They're not like uh, your chicken and dumplings. It's a different uh, different recipe entirely. And uh, what you got to have here is you got to have uh, two uh, tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. That's there. You're going to need a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. You're going to need one uh, teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar. And these are water chestnuts you can to taste, however you like them. You know, if you like more, much less. Same with the onions, the green onions, you can have to taste, whatever. And uh, one egg over there. And uh, this thing's going to make a noise. And then there's a shoulder meat. Now that's not a very good cut, but she's going to take away a lot of that, a lot of that uh, fat that's on her. Now a lot of people would make this recipe and they just use... Uh, ground pork, which you can do that, but she likes to do it completely from scratch and everything, and uh, so we're going to kind of watch how she does this here. It's really a pretty tasty little deal. It's not, like I say, it's not like your chicken and dumplings, but it's a little different deal, so. Okay, she'll get ready here in a minute and start to, start to work on this thing. Uh, okay, well these, uh, <clears throat> these are uh, wonton wraps here, skins. Uh, they're not exactly what uh, the Chinese use for their dumplings. They use the round. My hands are dirty. Anyway, uh, they use the round ones, but that's what you got. You get these at Walmart down there, and they work pretty good. They're not that bad, so uh, we just thought we'd uh, bring that to your attention here, too. I didn't mention that at first, but that's what those things are. Now that's a pretty poor cut of meat right there. That's something she got from a uh, local farm around here. And, uh, it's just pretty common. She's going to cut that up in small pieces and everything. It takes about a pound of it and uh, it's taking off a lot of the fat. You don't want all that fat in there. Uh, some but not a lot and uh, as I said about a pound and she doesn't use ground pork. This is just more the traditional way of doing it. Start off from scratch like that. Ground pork would be fine but uh, and you don't want sausage I don't think because Oh, I guess they got some that don't have any seasoning, but you wouldn't really want any, uh, you really wouldn't want any sage or anything like that in there, so. All right, we'll take up this just a little bit sooner here. As you can see, she's just chopping that stuff up in small pieces. It uh, makes a lot of racket, and, uh, which is another thing I'll mention while we're watching this. This uh, chopping block I made that for use a trash can. It's got uh, four by fours down there. With, let's see, there's one, two, three, five, I think it's about eight four by fours on end. It's heavy. Then the top, the top down here is uh, starts off with pine. And then we got hard maple up on top, and then she's using her own chopping box on top of that. So it puts it about the right height to her. She's not too tall. So, uh, so that's the thing. Counter on her way too big. You can see she's not all that tall of a gal. And, uh, so anyway, we'll be back when she's all chopped up a little bit better. Okay, she's preparing the onions and the uh, water chestnuts there to put in the mix, and uh, you got to make them very small, very small pieces because you know that actually dumplings are not all that big, and uh, so you want to very small pieces of uh, everything in there so they don't protrude out I guess. Now, I've really never seen her cut these onions this way before so it's a difference. It's a different thing for me too while we watch that. And uh, yeah, and on that pork and everything, well, yes, it's about, it's approximately a pound. It's not, doesn't have to be exactly, but it's just uh, just some place to start, a kind of guidelines right there. That was the rest of the ingredients will come up just about right. So, so yeah, you get these onions all chopped up in fairly small pieces. And uh, that'll work pretty good for that mix. And, uh, you know, she, she likes to use green onions. I guess you could use regular white onions and cut up in small pieces. But this is a traditional way they did it. And so you're really going to try to make it as nearly authentic as possible. And then uh, probably try to follow the recipe pretty close. As I said, the onions and the uh, water chestnuts are kind of a to taste type of thing because some people don't. I suppose you wouldn't even have to put any in there if you didn't want to, but uh, it just adds a little more to it, maybe a little crunch to it and everything. So, 
And you get done crying, I dropped it in little pieces too. And I hope we don't see her cutting the finger off while we're doing this. Uh, I don't think she's ever done that before. There's no way the first time. <laughs> no, I don't think she will. Been doing this stuff a while. And for those that's wondering, there's no cat or dog using this process. That was supposed to be kind of a little joke thing there, because as you know, sometimes people refer to these people that uh, uh, Orient is doing that stuff, and I, I don't know if they do or they don't, but she doesn't, so that's all I care. All right, looks like the uh, water chestnuts are pretty well chopped up. I guess you could use a food processor for any of this stuff, but she just likes to do it like this. It don't really take her that long. So. All right, I guess we're ready to move on to the next project here. Oh, yeah, she's getting ready to combo all this stuff here. So you can tell, I, I put what kind you can tell. Okay, well, put in the oil right now. Yeah, uh, cooking oil. Yeah, the cooking oil is going in there now, right there in that little deal. So it don't take a lot. Not much. Not much. And then you got your uh, salt. salt. Okay. Put the salt in there with it. Yep. Yep. All right. That's good enough. And then, of course, we got some sugar. And the sugar. A little sugar there. I guess that enhances it a little bit. And, and there's the, the uh, cornstarch. Corn yep, cornstarch. <clears throat> and the soy sauce. And then we'll put an egg in there for good measure. All right, there's that. And uh, now she kind of mix this up. For a while, yeah, mix, not like yeah. that. Okay, you mix it up for a little while and uh, get all this stuff uh, kind of incorporated together here. And it don't take too long to do all this stuff. Kind of looks like a salmon cake mix, don't it? But that's not what it is. So. I guess anybody could use it. Same tune and make a different kind, but this is the way this is done, so get that stuff all mixed and blended good. There was a lady at her work would like to know the recipe, so if we get this work pretty good demonstration, then maybe that gal can can uh, kind of copy the way this was. And I'll try to put down the, the quantities in the bottom down there on the uh, on the video there if I can and uh, in case anybody wants to give it a try it's not really that hard like I say if you want to make it quicker you can use the round pork you know and then uh, you could use a uh, food processor or something for these onions and the uh, or not not yeah the onions and the uh, and the uh, water chestnuts so but it really don't take that much longer to do this and you get everything all blended in like that they really ain't too bad. You can, uh, it don't take long to do it. It takes a little while to stick them in their wrappers there, but it ain't, uh, it ain't extremely hard to do. That's a job that I can do almost. I can sit down and do it. If it's, if it's a sit down job, I don't mind it. But, you know, this standing up is a little rough. Yeah, she's a pretty good cook. She learned how to do a lot of American dishes too, like a, like meatloaf and a lot of different things. It's uh, I don't know one of these days maybe she'll do one of them kind. It's kind of like mashed potatoes, you know, okay, okay. Um, uh, on the top of a of a kind of meatloaf kind of situation, and uh, it's a little different seasoning, so it's not really the same as either one. Now then, it's getting ready to put these uh, put this mixture in these uh, skins here. And let me move this down just a tad here. It's gonna make a noise. I know. That's just the way the old cookie crumbles at times. These things are uh, kind of stored in the middle, so you just need one for each dumpling. And uh, the ones you get down in Chinatown, down like St. Louis or any bigger city, you can get the round ones, which is really the traditional right kind for that. Let me move this up and not put the shadow in there. Okay, you just smear that in there. Okay. Then you hold it over here a little bit better so they can see like that. Okay, you kind of just kind of pinch them together like it, kind of like pinching a pie crust. Set them on your floured plate. It's just a regular old flour. 
and you uh, continue on until you have all of them done and uh, not a lot to it and like I say she's got to take some of these to that gal at work and uh, then maybe that lady can fix her own it's a uh, is it, I mean, if you're going to make a meal out of them, you have to have a bunch. They're actually not too bad. And so, anyway, she'll go ahead and get these all together here, and we'll get back with it after a while. Ain't no sense in boring it. Though you seen one done, you can see them all. You know, that's just the way it works. It's very simple. Put them in about a spoonful and uh, and uh, close them up there. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, she's going to do about 12 of these here to start with, and uh, she said she'll do the rest of them later on, so we don't have to look at all that. So now we're going to get yeah, ready no. to put them on the uh, stove, I guess. Uh, hang on here, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, what she's going to do here now is put some uh, put some water in the pan there, this big pan. And uh, I think you said you had to have some oil. Yeah, okay. And uh, she looks like she got about a cup of water in that pan. And drizzle in some oil. Uh, uh, you work this in together. See, I, this, I've never done this myself, so I really don't know what's going on here. So I'm just learning along the same time. I don't know. You just put in a, so much whatever amount of oil it looks like looks right, I guess. And then the water. And uh, it wasn't really a whole cup of water. It's kind of a half a cup, kind of I guess about a half and a half mix, or a little bit more water than you oil. And she says too, you can use shrimp. She has done that. Use shrimp instead of pork, if you like that. Uh, you, I guess it's pretty much. I guess you could do about whatever you want. But she said that beef is not, not real tasty. I guess it doesn't have a, a lot of flavor. Maybe it's not got enough fat or something. I don't know what it is. But uh, you uh, put these little, put these little dumplings in here, and uh, and then I guess she'll probably put a cover on them here shortly. Yeah, the reason for the deeper pan is because it, you don't want it splattering all over everything. And not that they splatter a lot, but it just keeps things keeps a mess down a little bit. Runs the heat on high there to start with. I guess that's probably uh, yeah. yeah. I don't, do you keep the could heat on high all the time, or you cut it down? No. no. Huh? Wait for you look at okay. wait for boil okay. after okay. you can uh, put the lid. Okay. So now, yeah. Now. Uh, okay. Wait. Well, you, know. you put. Yeah, you said she leaves it on. No, yeah, he pour. You can boil. Put in the bowl. Yeah, then, you can then you can turn it down some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like that? Okay. No, don't take. take oh, you, oh, you got your picture already. Mm. Yeah, you, you, okay. You, because you like that, the steam can uh -huh. put all the top and bottom like that. Yeah, okay. If you know, mm. need, need. Okay. If maybe the bottom cook all the top. Okay. Not cook, not so, all. Okay. Yeah. Well, cook thoroughly through then. Well, I guess that's about it till we get these uh, first batch done here. So we'll come back at it a little later. Oh, okay, the uh, the water has cooked out of this. Now we're down just to the oil and uh, turn the heat down. Uh, I don't know, approximately medium high, maybe a little less. Now you cook these. You cook them uncovered with no lid. No lid. No. Don't need, don't need a lid now. We'll finish on cooking like this until they actually get done. And uh, you know, it, it seems like it's kind of silly to put water in, but that's the way it's supposed to be done. And if it's going to work that way, that's what we do. So, all right, we'll be back a little while longer. Okay, they're getting pretty close to done. I guess they've been maybe a total cooking time, but not more than 20 minutes. Uh, you're going to turn these over. I was cooking a little bit, but kind of turn them over because they're kind of brown on one side there and kind of get them a little brown on another side. And then I think they'll be ready to ready to take out of there. It doesn't really take that long. Uh, maybe we'll let these go a little longer here. Uh, after the uh, water boils out, I don't think it takes long for that water to boil out, maybe seven minutes. And then after that you run them approximately 15 more minutes, maybe a little less than that. It doesn't take that long. So, Alrighty, I think the next time we'll look at them, we'll be taking them out of the, taking them out of the pan here. Okay, the way we got this here is you're going to have a, like a crunchy side on two sides. One side is not, but you can do all three sides, but it tends to make them quite crunchy. If you really like crunchy things, why, well, that'll work. I, I can't really eat the real crunchy ones. My kind of teeth ain't that good. But, uh, you can do it that way and make them brown on all three sides. It's sort of like a little triangle here. 
And so we're just about ready to get them up out of here. And it's a little bit on the deep pan, it's a little hard to get them out of. But uh, alrighty, they're going to have to cool just a little bit here, and then we'll try one. We'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're going to give these a try. I don't know. Let me see if I can put this in a little closer there. That might not hurt none. Sometimes that, when you try to zero it in a little farther, it kind of don't get very clear. I'm going to try one of these. I know it's going to be too... going to be just a little bit on the hot order right now for me. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, she got it like that. That's better. You can see her better than that. She's, she's, is that hot? Not really. Really? Yeah, but you can, heat, you can eat hot stuff. I can't. Let me see what happens here. Yeah, let me take this off. Uh, oh, I bet that's hot. All right, oh, there we come. Boy, this is this is graceful, isn't it? Oh, damn! I made a mess. They are good, as you can see. The meat's completely cooked inside. No problem with that. So, I'm gonna attempt to leave a description, and everything on the bottom, how this is done, and or at least the ingredients, and. Uh, in case somebody wants to give it a shot. Not hard to do, but it just takes a little time. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.